In December 2000, I was taken by Ian Sinclair, who was reaching the end of an epic walk around the M25 for a book. Where Ian had already walked the motorway and amassed a huge archive of material, I was left with little to do except to find the split nature of our project by electing to drive in pursuit of nothing around the world's biggest bypass. More than other motorways, the M25 is designed to test thresholds of boredom. It eliminates any romantic notion of boredom, but for the addictive, it has its attractions. It is mainline boredom. It is true boredom, a quest for transcendental boredom, a state that offers nothing except itself, resisting any promise of breakthrough or story. The road becomes a tunneled landscape, a perfect kind of amnesia. Movement provokes memory, but you can't discriminate. I was hitching lifts, returning to sites that I couldn't erase, searching for clues I'd missed on my previous circuit. What do you find out you know, on the M25 and in the sort of motorway zone is that there's no past, there's no future in the average science park or industrial estate you people sit in offices and there's no social hierarchy because everybody really is classes this is the world where out on the m25 where um a new kind of sort of transitory transient england uh, has come into being Your assignment is to destroy the M25.